Dave Snyder here. It is the 14th of November, and it's 7.04 p.m. in California, Bay Area. Okay, so this is a very interesting pattern. I mean, I'm just going to start out by saying the weather shows some interesting stuff about the Earth. It shows a lot about, it shows a lot of history, I think. But this is a, you can see this is the Great Lakes area of the United States, you know, in the United States where you see their Superior, and Michigan's probably right there. And it's just, it's an interesting pattern with this weather included over the top of it, you know what I'm saying? You see something there that's very interesting. I I think it's very interesting because I've seen this this area of, of the Earth line up with many areas of the, of the lunar surface when I've reversed the pictures over the Earth. And now I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but I'm just going to start with this thing. And I think I should just like say, bring up a couple, uh, or I should just save this image to start with. That's what I ought to do first. Just snip it out with my snipping tool and, and get this uh, get this saved before it changes or something. Because weather does change. Okay, so I want to get the date in there. I like to have the date in the picture these days. Okay, and then uh, I'm just going to have to wait, I guess. There it goes. And I'll save it as GL. Awesome. I can't use that, can I? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, so now I'm going to take it to Google Earth. And I, yeah, I love this picture. Don't you just love this picture? That is such a beautiful picture of weather. It is so revealing. That's why I named it Badass because it is badass. Ooh, look at that one. Lines up pretty pretty much the same, huh? I never really put two together too much. But they go together somehow. Or they're just two separate impacts, but here you go. Um, there it is, right there. Mm. Never get enough of this one. Never get enough of that. Especially when I noticed this part right here, this this little spot right here. When I once I noticed that, I was like, "Holy shit! Look at that! That is an unreal." And then you see right here in uh, this area on the Earth, there's like the, these coral reefs and all that right there. It's just right in the center where it apparently, I don't know, maybe it hits there, maybe not. It definitely leaves that print there in the weather, no doubt about that. Okay, anyways, back to what I was doing. Okay, so what was I doing? I got to bring up my other badass picture that's way up here. Oh, uh, way up here. Should be kind of far. Uh, maybe, maybe not this far. Yeah, it's right up here. Wait for it. There it is. Okay, so there's a there's a crater that I have aligned over the Great Lakes right there, and I don't know if it go. You know, it, this picture fits here so well all the time with the weather and everything. You know, when it shows when it does show weather, you know, there's something right there too. Look at that, something, something. That's probably Newfoundland right there. I, bet, I would imagine. I usually have something. Yeah, I think so. So, anyways, uh. Let's check that picture over this crater. I'll get a, I'll get a better image of that in just a minute, but let's just let's just put it up there and see. I mean, it's see how it goes. Let's just try it once at least, and then I'll go get another picture of that crater, a better picture of it, and see what happens. Okay, so I call it G L S. Oh boy, someone's trying to call me. Who's that? I don't know who that is. Hold on, let me pause for a moment, please. Sorry about that. Which one is paused? Okay, so I'm back. I had to go plug in a mouse. Can you believe that? Okay, anyways, um, let's see. What was I doing? I was looking up for G Great Lakes right there. Okay. Let's see how that compares to that crater, if we can get it to size. Oh, that's, that crater's messed up, isn't it? It's pretty bad. Well, it sure looks like it snapped it down right in the right place, though. So let's get a better picture of that crater. i got to go find out what the name of that crater is first. We have to go to the moon to do that, apparently. Let's see if we can do that. Go to the moon. I can't remember the name of it. I'm sorry. 
something the I can't remember. Hopefully it's not covered by this one. Here we go. I think it's that one, huh? It looks like that. Well, maybe not. Uh, let's see. Which one is it? It's one of these ones in here. Is it this one or this one? Hmm. See, it looks so much different in that picture. I'm just going to go with this one. We'll put our, turn on the place names. See, we'll look at the name of both of them. Oh, it's the Monder. It's Monder. It's not that one. But I'll look. I'll get a picture of both. And this this is a this picture is terrible. I know that it doesn't look this way. There's no way. Okay, so Monder. The Monder. We'll just see what these ones look like. I can see it's probably. It looks like it might be this one. Because I, I rec I've seen that little tail on the side of that one. But this one here. Let's see. It's probably the bigger one. There's a, oh, it's this one because this one's up there by Lake Superior. This crater here. So let's go find a picture of the Monder crater online. Um, Monder. And go to images and see what they give us. I'm going to say it looks more like this than it does like this and like this. These are bullshit pictures. These ones here are bullshit. It's got a flat side. It definitely has a flat side on it. That's for sure. It has some type of flat edge on it. It does not, it's not a perfectly round crater. And these, these two show that. These ones here, these two. Let's make sure that's Monder. And Hummocky, what the hell? Well, let's see. I'll go back and see what the other one looks like. Oops. That one's kind of 3D-ish or something. I, I think I like this one better. I'll let it get all the way in. And I'll save it. See that line right there? It's still loading or something. It'll get, it'll get clear. If we just wait. Or I just won't wait. Save image as index monitor. Sorry about this. I just, you know, I'm trying to do this these days. I, I like to do it with the, as I'm making videos. I like to just check stuff out while, so you're there with me when I'm doing it. Because otherwise, you know, I get a bunch of stuff together and I show it and people just don't seem to, you know, see it very well or something. I don't know what it is. Oh, look at how clear that is. So where did it put, take it to? I don't even know. Let's see. Uh, I should have saved it in that folder that I have. Let's go back to the earth. And then turn this off. Monitor. Now that, there was that derecho, derecho storm up here one time. And that sucker lined up perfect with the, one of the craters in that area. So I'm just going to bring this picture that we just put up there up. This one here. And I'm going to bring up the Monder crater. I'm going to reverse it first. If I can find it, that is. Monder, Monder. Might not be in this folder. There it is. Right click, open with paint. And wait for it. And flip horizontal. So you've got it backwards now. And then you save it. And then you close it. And then you open it. And then you just check it. You've got to shrink it down, of course. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I got three new messages. Sold a boat today. And uh, this guy was really wanting me to hold on to it for him. And I just couldn't do it. Unfortunately. Well, I'm seeing some familiar, I'm seeing some resemblances there pretty much already. I mean, like, I can see right off the bat a few things. Like this area here. Oh, this probably needs to be a little bit bigger to fit properly in the weather. Okay, that little thing off the side, I, I'm wondering about that. 
That other pitcher, that other crater had that. And the way I see it, we cannot see this crater from the Earth. Okay, so it could look like anything as far as as far as that goes. It, we don't have no idea what what it looks like. We have to go by what they tell us and show us, and you know, which sucks, but that's just the way it goes. But you see this area, see this arch right here? I can see that in this picture. I can see that right here. And it's very, it's, it resembles, I mean, you couldn't get much clearer, but that one little thing on the side is missing, which of course it would be. If they knew that it was, it, it showed us on the earth, they would take it, they would remove it from the moon. <laughs> No kidding, but that that I, I would almost guarantee that's the same thing. Those two are related. I mean, you see now it just you know fits just auto automatically fit, and you can see it's like it's like a half shell. See how it's got this line across? It's kind of right here, and it, it's kind of like this area here. Look at this! Look at this crater. Okay, it could be this line. It could be this line right here. It's it goes here. It goes with that fucker. I'm telling you, it does go with it. And I'm sure something right here probably looks like superior, but it's not going to be in the picture because it probably looks too much like superior. But we can see how it comes all the way out here, where you see these, you know, these radar rings or whatever the hell they are. It comes way out there, and I can see something round right here. Look, right here, see that round, right there, and then look, look at this. Right in place. Well, pretty close, close enough to where you can say it's the same thing. Because I mean, really, I can just scoot it over like that, and there it is. You know. And it's not going to be perfect because there, this this picture of the weather and this picture of the Earth is not perfect. It's not exactly as as you know. But I'd say that goes together. Let's check the other crater. Why not? Or let's bring up the other crater that I had up here and make sure that I got that the right, it's still facing the right direction as compared to that other crater that I had up earlier, just to see. Flat edge down. See the flat edge? This is the flat edge down and it curves around this way. And that's what we got. Look at that. I know it's a little off in this picture, but you can't get that picture to line that right up because I'm lining up, I'm uh, aligning the center of this picture, and that being off to the side. But look at it, it's about the right size. It goes there. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Well, that weather shows something. See, I knew it would show. I knew it showed something. That's pretty cool. And it, these things may not be important to most people, but you know, it, it is to me because I like to know what really shapes the earth and I know it's not what they say the shit this they, they don't even say what it does what does it comets and asteroids hit the earth maybe they did maybe they did but it's such bullshit that it did it shape the entire earth from asteroids and comets and whatever meteors and 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 created the oceans no freaking way no way I I'm not even gonna fall for that they're leaving a big chunk of the story out out there for you to discover on your own. They're not going to tell it to you. They're going to bring up some other kind of bullshit and say something else. You know, how do you think the dinosaurs got buried under, you know, hundreds of feet of rock or you know, you know, 70 feet of rock? How do you think over millions of years you think the rocks just fell on top of them and they just stand, stood there and let the rocks fall on them? You know, or whatever. I think I think they had no choice but to get buried. You know, the moon hit and the they just, everything just got buried and flooded and everything else you know this it just all fits you got all those woolly mammoths or whatever the you know up there in uh, Siberia or wherever wherever it is I think it's on the East Coast actually where they find all they still bring in all those uh, you know the tusk and all that stuff I think that's you know pretty obvious that something happened right here in America right there to do all that and to, to leave the ice and the glaciers a mile thick, come on. I mean, the ice age, is I'm sure, is extreme, but a mile thick ice, come on. Something else was involved in that. Something else was involved. For us to go through you know, many ice ages, as they say, something else has to be involved. And it's not just the lack of sun, you know, from just a, a, some dumb tilt or angle or something. Bulls, that's bullshit, too. You know it is. Come on, people. 
You know it is. This all has to do with with the resources on the planet Earth. They, they want to teach you. Look at this. How this right here. Look at this part right here. It, it's the same thing. There's no getting around it. Let's just take this uh, picture of the weather away and see what it fits. How it fits over the Earth. Now, now, see I, that other picture? I didn't align that over the Earth. You've seen that. I did not even put this over the Earth. I put this over that crater, right? I didn't even put this over the Earth. I didn't align it like this. I aligned it to the picture of the moon that I brought up first. So if I was to align this to the Earth properly, we'd be able to see exactly how that. So I'll just take this picture and I'll align it to this area and get the best fit, right? We'll just get the best fit right here because I can see it needs to be a little bit bigger actually. And you know, if look at the center, look at the center of this thing, and then look at the center of the Great Lakes, right here. You see that there's something, something hit here. There's something. This has to do everything to do with the Great Lakes. And there's the big basin that that uh, protects the salt domes under, or the salt mines underneath. You know that right there is your, what creates your salt mines right there. Protects, you know, turns it into dolomite or whatever it is. You know, I do my research. I, I see shit all the time. You know, I've watched stuff all the time about this. I've watched, I think I've watched every Earth documentary on YouTube that's worth watching. But that goes there. And like I said, they are leaving stuff out of that picture for sure. For sure. But you can see enough. I can see enough. I mean, I got enough common sense that knows that tells me that when that when that crater puts itself there that all, as often as it has over the you know past four years that I've been doing this, and when the weather shows something like that on Wonder Maps, and then you put it all together, and it just fits that way. You know, and then I don't know. I never been to this area of the United States. I never been to this area, so I don't know what the, what it, any of it's like. But I can see that that crater has something to do with it. I got that one picture of that storm saved somewhere. You know that, that derecho or whatever it was? I'll bet you it fits right in that crater if I brought it up right now. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do it. And i got to find it first. It might be in this folder. It might be my my old folder. Come on now. But it should be right at the top, wherever it is. Right up here somewhere. I remember it being at the top. Not that one. I know it's very colorful. Not that one. Maybe it is on my other drive, but I'm gonna just give me another minute here. You can see that I've done my homework. I mean, I really have. I've been doing this. I've done a lot of overlays, a lot. And I've seen a lot of things. I'm telling you, you want to figure out what's really going on with the planet Earth. I mean, I haven't figured out what's really going on, but I figured out that. What I have figured out is that we're being bullshitted completely about the moon, landing on the moon, you know, all kinds of stuff. Just amazing. It's, ama it's hard to even fathom sometimes. Here it is right here. I think that's it. I think. Or it's, it's, yeah, that's it. That's it. I think it's it. It was like this anyway. And oh, you can already see it, people. You can already see that that's going to fit right in that little... Oh, my goodness. I think I've already showed this. when the storm, during, Right when that storm was happening, I showed it. I showed this. But you can already see. It's going to fit right in there somehow like this. I don't know how this uh, map is aligned, but it's going to fit in there one way or another. Oh, my goodness. You can see it so clearly already I'm sure you all all you people that watch the weather like I do remember this storm just last year or something like that it was just like last year a year ago or so and just take a look 
it goes in there something like that let's just get a better see I'm seeing a lake up here so I'm trying to figure out seeing the riding a different oh maybe it goes no it's got to go in there some way like that I'll try it a different way too though try it this way like that because it could go like that too but I, I'm I'm thinking well you never know I mean it's I see a lake here I, something's going on with the lake I gotta figure out where that lake is okay so here is a uh, the riding is this way that lake would have to be I don't know what lake it is doesn't really it's one over here too so it's gonna have to be something it's gotta be a little smaller or something let's see I don't know it goes in here though you can see that I'm sure you can you're probably seeing it see, seeing what I'm not seeing you know that's what that's the whole thing about watching somebody else do something is you can see what they're not seeing and it's kind of I would always wish people would tell me what what they're seeing when I'm not seeing it. <laughs> but they hardly ever do, but it's always nice to have some feedback. Positive feedback that is. I'd say it was more like this. That's upside down completely. I don't know, but it goes in there. You can almost see that, it, like this area here, that's what I'm looking at right there. It kind of looks like it fits right there, just like a glove. See that? Very strange that it's in there upside down, but sure fits good, don't it? Goes in there some way. Sure, I saved it like this. Let's see if we can see any of these names. I can't read anything. Oh, plus, you know, the storms like move, you know, they, they move. So it could have been formed like this and then the weather move or you know spin around and then then be over these lakes the way that it shows in the picture you know it could be something like that definitely goes here though definitely all right so enough of that um, anything else since I've been making this video forever long let's take a look at that picture I mean that is really is that the same picture I saved because it doesn't look as good some reason it just don't look as clear that sucks okay so let's look right here this is the center and what is this area here this has got to be some kind of major place major city or something I don't know Zilwaukee huh? Zagana what is that Saginaw Bay, okay. It's Michigan, huh? Okay. Looks like it could also go like this. Or what was I looking at? Okay, so let's take a look. Well, I was trying to get this this spot right here, this little loop right here, lined up in this, right here. I was trying to get that right there. But 
it could be that right there. That's kind of that's kind of good right there. Let's turn off these borders. Oh, like, oh, let's see. See this corner up here right there? Yeah, up this way just a touch. And check that out. <clears throat> See this up here? This little angle. All right, so when you figure out where this goes, you can put it in a comment and let me know. <laughs> I don't want to make this video any longer. It's already long enough. Have a great day, great weekend, and all that. I got to make money this weekend somehow. All right, have a good one.